This is literally rush hour. Today there is uh, I've arranged four groups. I've gotten way too many inquiries on this not to close this. She actually wanted to sign on the spot. Okay, dinner time, let's go. After I close this, move on to the next one. How this whole ecosystem can be very, very easy. If you can do that by yourself, Fair enough waiting for the last tenant. Nothing is secure, nothing is cemented until the paperwork is signed. What is up guys? I'm rushing, I'm rushing. This is this is literally rush hour. So we are back here in the Dawson area and uh, I gotta rush for the appointment and I need to pee. I seriously need to pee right now. But the tenant is there waiting for me. Alright, I want to share a few things today. Maybe after my first appointment, because I've got a few today. And then, um, let me do finish my first first appointment. Then after that, once we are able to catch a break, then I'll follow up with the vlog. <laughs> See you guys. Alright, awesome Vista, we're back. Third time, third time. Hopefully third time's a charm. Alright, let's go guys. Alright, I just finished two viewings who are fast and furious man and now we are waiting for the third one So anyway, the second second tenant right, she actually had intention to, to really sign on the spot um, But then uh, it was a bit um, It was a bit awkward lah because she because I had two more groups right So she was just like standing there like waiting for me to waiting for us to make a decision uh, but because the decision maker is not around Anyway, I'm hoping that we can close this one today So basically, while I'm waiting for the next tenant right Today, there is a, I've arranged four groups As a, as a more strategic way lah, To pack all these viewings together in one shot In, in a period of timing ah, Because I've come down here too many times already And I've gotten too many interests That's the main thing I've gotten way too many inquiries on this Not to close this So I decided today was the day this right now, this is the viewing slot. So as I'm waiting for the third, third tenant, right? Hopefully the second one we can, uh, we can actually close out with that one, because she actually wanted to sign on the spot. Now I'm just waiting for the landlord, um, for the landlord to get back to me. But anyway, the main thing is that um, we still have to honor the the viewings, lah. So the I'm gonna handle this one. The next one that's coming up. And then the last one, few more things to share but uh, let me proceed with this next viewing first. Okay, so I'm done with the third viewing and uh, I really gotta be in control man. We are more or less trying to close this second tenant and I just gotta get to the landlord. Just now he called me, then I was in the middle of the viewing, then now I call back, then he's, he's not picking up. So I gotta convey this message to him ASAP because this second tenant is, is really like rushing like breathing down my neck because she's very very eager to rent and secure this because i feel that she knows that there's other tenants also so she can tell that she really really wants a room so i gotta get hold of the the landlord fast but anyway now it's time um it's time for dinner actually so i'm headed for dinner uh back to this sky view sky view at dawson now my uni is not here la. my uni is at the dawson vista behind but yeah, man, look at this nice, cozy neighborhood. Okay, dinner time, let's go. <sighs> Alright, guys. Bright lights on my face again. I'm waiting for the last tenant, last viewing for the day. Look at this stretch of tables and chairs. Have you seen such a nice you know generous communal area before and um, get away from the smoke anyway let me just settle down here all right guys while i'm waiting probably 30 minutes for the next tenant so i just want to share some uh, status updates okay so basically i hope this backdrop is nice huh? Okay, so basically, if y'all seen my few episodes, right, I had the, uh, don't know, it was episode 2 or 3, um, I had a Hillington Green condo listing, 2 rooms, 2 common rooms, and yesterday, finally, we rented it out, everything was done, um, all the paperwork, all the deposits, transfer over, stamp duty, and um, wow, that was, I was pretty happy with that, lah, to be honest. Yeah, I just hope that, you know, I can keep this momentum going. And uh, hope it's, it shouldn't be a one-off. It shouldn't be a one-off. Um, 
because if this is a one-off then this is still isn't like a you know full-fledged career I'm still not thriving it has to be consistent after I close this move on to the next one you know of course I have to close it properly what's important is that after I close uh, move on every day is a new day um, <clears throat> I was listening to some podcast some agents right you know they forget about their deals o o overall the long span of time because they just focus on the next one the next one the next one so part of it is in order to be thriving in order to succeed on a massive massive scale right I have to have this kind of mindset as well um, so yeah that was a small win two common rooms rented out and I just want to point out the the fact that how how this whole ecosystem can be very very easy okay so I rented this room out in it took me around a week okay two common rooms and that should be the way right you, you know we don't want a situation where is we are just renting out rooms though not even whole unit room and then it's is taking like what months so that was I think that might have been no that that, that wasn't my fastest my fastest was one viewing uh, but that one was really really fast so close it in one week and uh, why I say is it can be really easy because end of the day how this all works and it actually works for both the landlord the owner and the agent and the tenant as well all of us have our role to play the landlord basically has the product right the agent is the matchmaker and the tenant is is basically the the person who's staying the person who is buying this product so why sometimes it's really very fast to rent or to sell a certain unit one of the main reason is because when the product is good it sells itself so for example my this Hillington green rooms right it was uh, inside a very nicely renovated well maintained uh, condo room and um, fully furnished the deco was splendid um, everything was provided so the product already sells itself I didn't have to push much I didn't have to sell a lot I didn't have to try to make things better than it looked you can tell the base on the viewings the tenant instantly they fought, they fell in love with it basically and you can tell when the tenants they are eager to actually proceed to the next step place a deposit other than just asking so many things oh is this provider you know how come things are this and that okay so even though it's still very blinding right I'll just you know point on the side of my face so why I say this whole ecosystem between landlord and agent and tenant can be very simple so I know at the very start right when I'm prospecting I'm the one who's going to find the landlord okay but here's how it always work and how when I'm talking about success, right? Success basically means renting your place out, lah. Okay, that that is our final objective, man. So how I can play my role well to help you to rent out your place. So when I'm prospecting, when I'm finding my landlords, right? Yes, usually they are they list themselves, they for sale by owner, for rent by owner. They want a DIY. Sure, if you can do that by yourself, fair enough. Totally fair game. You do not need an agent. You can do all the marketing yourself. You can uh, do the tenancy agreement yourself. You handle the, the the tenant yourself. Fair game, okay. But I'm only serving those situations. But I won't say that, that I'm only serving because I play the role as a consultant as well. So anybody can consult me on anything regarding real estate. But when it comes to those um, landlords or owners who are facing issues such as they cannot find the right tenant, they are they encounter flaky tenant, you no know, indecisive, not steady one or they just simply don't have the time that's one of the feedback also then that's where we can actually work in a partnership where it's a handshake between the landlord and myself then it becomes a situation where I am trying to sell your product so you are the product maker you have your house that needs to be transacted and I'm the guy who is there to push your house for you to do the marketing so that you kind of take a step back and then you let a professional handle it for you so that's where I come into play and that's where I start matching the right let's just say for rental case uh, that's where I start uh, uh, matching the right tenants for you and then because you have such a good product hopefully you have a good product uh, if you don't have a good product uh, meaning to say that your rooms for example the condition is not the best or that you you don't provide certain things like people provide aircon you don't provide you know people people include utilities you don't include then you say can, no cooking all this right all this also affect the product what so if your product is good competitive your product has to be competitive also right so your product is good competitive then your pricing also 
I guess it makes sense that pricing is part of the product or maybe we, we thought it was separate lah. okay let's just let's just put them separately but the concept is the same so pricing wise your pricing has to be competitive also you see it you cannot you know when it comes to pricing you cannot just say that it's good or bad it, it has to be relative because it's always based on the market as your agent right representing you my job is of course to serve in your best interest and you, to get you the highest price possible but it also depends on the market if the market is good then naturally we will be seeing a higher price we can command higher price but if the market is not so good then that's the best price that we can actually realistically fetch based on the current market and we also have to have competitive pricing if if you want to be very if let's say the landlord right wants to be very wait and see or very tough headed about your pricing and you insist that you want to rent out a common room at 1.6k common hdb room at 1.6k um, that is not competitive pricing at all and i'm not pointing out any anybody but i'm just saying this is a very unrealistic number when the when the market right now for hdb common room uh, depending on location is about 1 1k to 1.2 so then it becomes harder to sell itself you will you will have to sacrifice what you have to sacrifice time law no? you if you want 1.6 can no? then you continue to wait law no? But if you can actually accept 1K, 2K, then that's where you start to see much more inquiries. Then that's how, in this scenario of the Hillington, right, the product was good and the price was good. The price was really attractive to the point that the landlord actually asked me, hey, Travis, I know you actually brought these two profile, first two profile at this price, right? But your subsequent profile, can you actually help me to market it at a higher price or not? Because she knew she knew her price was was good. Okay, she wanted a bit more. So I said, okay, lah, but you know, once again, if you market it higher right then your competitiveness might drop a bit so it's, it's all correlated so if you have good product you have a good price you have a good agent then it's things will move very fast right? you'll be able to close very fast because once you list it on property guru once you list it on platforms right and that's actually another factor about listing on agent platforms right because if like most of my cases that i close are for example this hillington one right the tenants found me on property guru so that speaks a lot after I after I spend as credit. So that actually says a lot. How come we can find it so fast on Google? Because the platform really works. Huh? It's super expensive and getting very ridiculous, but we have to give it to them. Huh? Some, uh, I mean, in certain scenario, it really works. Okay, so, so that's that. And um, yeah, so when you have that, all this comes together, right? Then it's just a matter of the tenants, filtering the tenants, and then arranging the viewings. Uh, for tenants, right, searching for house is not something like, you know, buy food, buy dinner, no, that you have so much, so many options, no. Usually, right, tenants, they also feel tired uh, of buying houses even. They'll feel tired of, after a period of time. So, <clears throat> if you really have a good product, right, that uh, outshines the other products that they are viewing, in this rental case, right, outshines the other other rooms that they are viewing, right, then naturally, you will, you will see that which is the case right now people want to close on the spot because they saw the earlier one or they saw earlier few right and then they were like i like this one this is the one that i want so it can be as fast as that that's why you see instant on the day same day closing um, because tenants would know and are realistic how how difficult it may be to find a good room sometimes it's really like that you know the opportunity is there if you don't close it now or you don't close it soon it's gone I believe tenants are also realistic. They know that if the room is like 75%, 80% good, uh, cannot have 100% one mark. If it's 75%, 80% good, they will most likely take it already. Product is good, price is good, location, um, everything, everything matches, right? It can be as simple as that, the entire ecosystem. So this is how landlord and tenant and agent comes together and we can all work with each other to, to transact a unit, to close a deal. <clears throat> waiting, waiting, waiting for the last tenant. Nice. Finally done with my viewings. Wow. Right now, right, in this case, uh, I have uh, encountered a not so easy tenant. Um, it's, it's okay. You, you know, tenant is okay, but just a bit, a bit jittery, a bit um, anxious on things. Uh, which is valid okay to to you know ask about all this but a bit anxious i understand your situation but let travis you know do things step by step you gotta do things step by step okay you get you gotta give agents space i'm just documenting this you gotta give agents space
to do our work okay trust that when the time is right the right steps the right procedure will be done okay so um yeah lah, this is part of the game lah. this is part of the nature of the job finally done with the fourth viewing and you know sometimes uh, things just happen you also don't know how to explain this fourth group right wow the was the same like from the same country uh, same background as the landlord then they instantly click then like friends like that then it's like I, I was like oh no does the landlord want to like prioritize them over what she currently has which is this this uh, second lady who is ready to deposit everything so it happens uh, but uh, most importantly we go by black and white we go by deposit we go by all this uh, paperwork okay all, all the rest is just entertainment nothing is secure nothing is cemented until the paperwork is signed until the the deposit is transferred okay so now i just gotta you know step by step and uh, just handle my business man hell of a few hours hell of a few hours this is better than watching a movie <sighs> let's go home end of my day tomorrow's my birthday i'm gonna take the day off tomorrow and celebrate see you guys in the next video bye